Hi, this is Phil Carlton, and I thought today I've seen a couple of questions lately about this tool, and I'd been meaning to record a little video about it, so I thought I would talk today about the Color Tone tool. Now, the Color Tone tool is used to change the color of an existing design. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is bring in one of our designs, and I'm going to use a sample. I'm going to go up across the top to the sh tools at the very top, and I'm going to click this little folder with a green arrow, which is our insert. An insert I like because it will let me bring in an embroidery file, but it brings in a copy of it. So that means I don't accidentally save over or change an existing design that I have saved on my computer. You'll notice I'm working in Premiere Plus 2. Uh, this tool, though, is going to be the same, I think, in 6D, Premiere Plus, Premiere Plus 2. I know it's even over on the Mac side in Premiere Plus 2, the exact same. All the tools work the same. So regardless of which version of the software you're working in, it's going to do the same thing. I'm in our samples, the Premiere Plus 2 EMB folder, Stitch 2, and Leisure. And I'm going to scroll down here and look for a design called Hot Air Balloons, I believe. Did I miss it? I might have gone right on past it. There they are, Hot Air Balloons. I'm going to select that and click Open. When I do, though, notice up here at the top, I'm still working in an untitled file. Now, if I had gone File Open, it would have opened up this embroidery file, and any changes that I made might be written over that existing file. So the first thing I want to show you before I go any further is if I double-click on any color in this design, I can see it was digitized in the Sulky Rayon 40 thread range. That's going to be important information here in just a minute. I'll go ahead and click the OK button, and I'm going to go right into our Color Tone dialog box. Across my tools on the top, I'm going to click Color Tone, and that dialog is going to pop up. I'm going to see if I can make this just a little bit larger by grabbing this lower right-hand corner and just zooming up a little bit. And so it, I can zoom in a little bit, but I think we can see the design pretty well. And what we see here is on the left side, it's my current design. On the right side, it's going to show any changes that I make to the design. So Color Tone has one primary job, and that is to change the color of an existing embroidery design. Let's look at the three different ways we can do that. First of all, we have a setting for brightness. Now, as I drag the brightness to the left, notice my design over on the right side is getting darker. So as I decrease the brightness, it's going to get darker. The same thing's going to happen over on the other side. If I increase the brightness, it's going to get lighter. And it almost goes, in this case, to almost a pastel color palette. So what's interesting about it, though, is it changes all the colors kind of evenly. So instead, so as my green is getting lighter, my red is getting lighter at the same rate. So the colors will still work nicely together if they worked nicely together in the original design. I'm going to take that back to zero for a second. Then I want to talk about contrast. So let me first show you what contrast does. If I drag it down to a negative number, notice I've decreased the contrast now, so the colors are coming closer together. The lower the contrast, or you know, the more negative the contrast, the less range there is between the darkest color and the lightest color. On the opposite end of that spectrum, if I bring the contrast way up, now I can see this color has gone to a black right here, and this gray has kind of lightened up, and I've got a solid white here. The higher I take the contrast, the more range there's going to be between the different colors. The third setting that we have, I'm going to take that back to zero, so I'm back and I'm seeing kind of the original. Then I have the gamma setting. Gamma is a little harder to explain, but basically it adjusts the brightness and the contrast at the same time to try and let you make the design brighter or darker without losing so much of the color range that you do when you start really getting into higher ends of the contrast. So if I drag this here to the right a little bit, notice that as the gamma gets higher, I'm getting much darker colors, but they're kind of adjusting both the brightness and the range of color at the same time. Same thing if I take this really low, then I get a really nice pastel look here because I've made the contrast higher, so I've got a more range of colors, but I've also decreased the brightness. The best thing I can tell you about these, I'm just going to click the reset button here to go back to my default. The best thing I can tell you is when you're playing with the design, just kind of adjust it. If you think, I wish that that had been a little bit lighter, maybe I'm going to just make it a more pastel version of this. And actually, I'm going to drag the, I liked what the gamma was doing that, so I'm going to take that back to there and take that down to there. 
And I kind of like that little pastel version, just as an example. Now the other really important thing that Color Tone can do is, if you will remember, all of my designs, or all my colors in this design, were in Sulky Rayon. I want them to be, I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to come down here to the lower right hand corner, and under Thread Range, right now it's showing the original threads for the design. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to first just stroll, scroll through my list, and go down to Robinson Anton Rayon 40, and click OK. Then I'm going to click the OK button. Now it's created that more pastel version of the design for me. And if I double click on any color, it's going to be in the Robison Anton Rayon 40 range. So if you have a thread range you use and you have a design that's done in a different range, that's a really quick way to change it to the colors you need. I'm going to do one more example by clicking Undo. So I'm back to my original design. I'm going to go into my color tone. I'm not going to adjust the brightness or the contrast or anything, but what I do want to do is I want to go to my sewing room now and embroider this out, and I want to use threads that I know that I have. So I've used thread cache and input on my threads, and if I look at my thread range, I actually have a list here called My Robison Anton, or My RA. So that is all the Robison Anton threads that I have in my sewing room. So if I click OK now, it will not only have converted these to a Robison Anton thread range, but it will have converted them to Robison Anton colors that I know that I have in my sewing room. So that's a really easy way for me to take this design that had 13 different colors and go into my sewing room and be able to stitch it out without spending a lot of time trying to decide which colors are going to match the closest for what I want. So let me know if you've used Color Tone before or if you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.